Madame Karcha is a female Carcharodontosaurus that started off as an ordinary Karcha, but mutated after an accident involving toxic gas. She was roaming the marshes of late Cretaceous Africa one day, and she came across a flower she had never seen before. The dinosaur sniffed the plant, and the flower released some type of chemical, probably used to defend itself from herbivores. The Karcha inhaled some of the chemicals and collapsed. When she woke up, the dinosaur looked around at her surroundings. She then felt a nibble on her leg. She looked down and saw what appeared to be a Rugops biting her leg. The smaller dinosaur must have thought the Karcha was dead, because once it realized she was staring at it, the Rugops let go and ran off. But as it was running off, it collapsed right in front of the Karcha. She was very confused and then went to the lake to look at herself in the reflection of the water. The Karcha looked different. Now she sported a black and green color scheme, as well as a frill on her neck. The Karcha then sneezed, and what appeared to be some form of venom came out of her mouth. She sneezed again, and the venom landed on an unsuspecting Oranosaurus who screamed in pain before burning into nothing but bone. The Karcha was pleased with her new powers and utilized them throughout the Cretaceous period. Millions of years later, the Karcha evolved and grew to an immense size. When witnesses spotted her, word spread and legends began to call her Madame Karcha. She had an earth-like texture with a frill on her neck and what appeared to be tree branches, leaves, and flowers all over her body. She also had the ability to bend vines to her will and use them against her opponents. Madame Karcha's abilities would be put to the test when she faced off Lord Giganato. Lord Giganato was powerful, but Madame Karcha was no pushover either. She used her strength to hold her own against the Giga. Lord Giganato managed to pin her to the ground but all that did was give Madame Karcha the opening she needed. She then used her burning spit to temporarily blind the Giganotosaur. Lord Giganotto screamed in pain as the acid burnt his skin. Then the Karcha used her vine powers to tangle him in a vine web. This bought her enough time to escape and she left Lord Giganotto struggling to free himself from the vines. He eventually broke free and let out an angry roar. By this point, his healing factor had already cleared away the burn mark on his face. He kept the info of Madame Karcha in mind for the next time they fight. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.